I think the governor has done an excellent job of, of protecting the core services uh, in the Department of Health and Human Services. Uh, mental health, uh, she's really done a, a great job of protecting, uh, avoiding any cuts to service dollars, and actually uh, proposing a $75 million uh, one-time amount going into the mental health trust fund that we can use to help stabilize the system and use in various projects to try to really build on with, with mental health. Uh, Medicaid, there will be some adjustments to services, uh, some adjustments to provider rates, but uh, they're going to be targeted uh, in areas where uh, we may be doing things beyond what uh, other states would normally do, paying providers beyond what most states would do. Uh, so there's no across the board or, or reductions that's going to uh, create just really devastating impacts in the, in the Medicaid system. Uh, focused uh, on continuing our efforts at program integrity. Uh, to make sure that when we pay for a service, it's, it's a correct and proper service, that the system isn't being abused. Uh, and then outside of that, uh, w there will be some reductions in grant funding to some of the nonprofits. But overall, uh, Health and Human Services uh, is in the governor's proposed budget is, is uh, being able to continue meeting the needs of the people.